robotics is disrupting markets from business, healthcare, and security in the home. And here at CS 2016, the robotics marketplace presented by Robotics Trends features the latest technologies in robotics. Robotics Trends Media is a publishing company that focuses on the market for robotics. Huge focus right now is on autonomous mobility. All of this is really going to converge and start trickling down into the consumer market more and more. You're seeing the rise of more multi-purpose robotic technologies as well as smarter technologies that can respond to your voice, that can learn as they go instead of having to be programmed. Um, and that is huge for the consumer market. So this is Patton. He's our artificial intelligence robot that bases his behavior off of whatever application you have on the top of him. So say uh, you're going out of town. Hey, you've got some roses on you, and I need you to make sure you stay in the sunlight a lot today. So he's going to chase the sun around the house until he can't find it anymore, and then he'll turn an LED light on. The Grillbot, which is the world's first and only automatic grill cleaning robot. Plastic shell is a high heat resistant plastic. Set your own timer, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, or 30 minutes. It's designed to clean anything. The brushes are very strong and specially made for Grillbot. In 2016, 660,000 robots in the home are projected to be sold, generating a revenue of $248 million. Uh, we've brought automated home beer brewing machines. And if you've never brewed beer before, we make it so much more simpler for you to brew this beer. Buy pre-made Pico packs that have all the ingredients you need, your hops and your grains. You place it in the machine, uh, add some water, and you can ferment right inside the keg. After about a week, you can serve it. So this is Double. Uh, it's an iPad telepresence robot that is used mostly for telecommuters. Uh, we are in education too, so think of a homebound student. And then our lateral stability control. So you can see power cords, door thresholds, that we have set up here, just a much smoother ride. Gives you that flexibility that you need to be much more engaged in a conversation than just be stuck on a table. The robotics marketplace has grown 71% since last year's show, spanning across 10,000 net square feet of exhibit space with 23 exhibitors, all showcasing a full range of robotic technologies. Uh, we are a robotics education company that provides robotics platforms geared towards teaching kids how to build and program robots. And the idea is as you progress through the lessons, you get you mature with your coding, you mature with your drone, and you learn how to program and do more intricate things. Uh, the drone comes equipped with sensors that eventually they can create this awesome autonomous program. Program it on, um, on this microcontroller, they write it using the Arduino IDE. They turn it on, they connect the two devices, and then they have takeoff. So our robot is smart, your robot. And each cell is uh, very simple, but when you connect the cell together, it can be hundreds of robots in one. Each cell has its uh, uh, very simple function, but when you combine the cells together, it can be a four-feet walking robot, ro robot arm, and you can robot to do anything, and all controlled by a smartphone app. The future with robots is here at CES 2016. For CES TV, this is Bernice Marquette.